Hello, grade 9 students. So, I'm back again. This is Teacher V and meron tayo ulit panibagong lesson for today. It's about Midline Theorem. Nasa quarter 3, week 4 na tayo. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng midline? Midline is also called as mid-segment. And it is the segment joining the midpoints of two sides of our triangle. Let us illustrate this by our triangle here. We have triangle ABC. And as you can see, yung point D is the midpoint of segment AB. So, hinate ng point D into two equal parts yung ating segment AB. While on the other side, yung segment AC, meron siyang midpoint na point E. Hinate ng point E yung ating segment AC into two equal parts. At kapag yung point na yan, or yung mga midpoints natin na yan, ay nag-connect or nag-join, yan ang tinatawag nating midline. At may mga theorems related dito. So let's see. Theorem number 5. By the way, baka nagtataka kayo bakit theorem 5 ang naglagay dito. Kasi meron akong naunang mga videos na nagde-discuss about sa theorems 1 to 4. So yung theorems 1 to 4 tungkol yan sa rectangle and rhombus. So, I suggest kung hindi mo pa yung napapanood, panoorin mo yun para malaman mo din yung iba't iba pang theorems regarding quadrilaterals. According sa theorem number 5, the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to third side and half as long. Yung segment na rinutukoy dito na nabuo dahil sa midpoint ng dalawang sides of a triangle ay yun na nga yung midline. At yung midline na yun ay parallel sa third side ng triangle at half as long or kalahate. Kalahate ng sukat ng third side of our triangle, yung sukat ng ating midline. Let's have more examples related to this. Okay, so again, this is our triangle. We have the midpoint here, point D, and another midpoint, point E. Pag nag-join yan or nag-combine, that is what we call midline. At ang formula natin para makuha ang sukat ng ating midline ay base sa sukat ng ating segment BC. Okay, so therefore we can say that midline is equal to one half of BC or one half of segment BC. Let's say we have 12 as our measurement in segment BC. Ano kaya sa palagay nyo ang sukat ng ating midline or ng segment DE? The measurement is kalahate ng sukat nitong ating segment BC. Ano ang kalahate ng 12? You are correct. The answer is 6. Kung ito ay 6, ang another side of our triangle na parallel sa kanya, which is segment BC, is 12. Let's have another example. We have triangle HRT. And... The given is the segment RT. The measurement is 42. And we're going to find the segment FG. Yung midline natin ang hinahanap. Using our formula, FG is equal to 1 half of RT. Diba? 1 half nitong RT ang sukat ng ating FG. So substitute lang natin. 1 half times yung segment RT natin na 42. 42, or divide natin yung 42 sa 2, kasi kalahati daw ng 42. Therefore, ang ating FG is 21. Another example, we have another triangle, RUE. And we're going to find the segment UE. This time, ito naman ang hinahanap, yung segment UE. Para natin makukuha ang measurement niya. Kanina, nag-divide tayo. This time, ang gagamitin naman natin is times or multiplication. Dahil tandaan, dapat mas malaki yung ating UE or segment UE sa ating midline na segment GI. Substitute lang natin sa ating formula ng midline. IG is equal to one half of segment UE. Substitute. So, ang segment IG natin is 23. 
is equal to 1 half of UE. So, instead of divide, since given yung IG, ang gagawin natin is multiplication. So, we multiply uh, 23 to 2, and the answer is 46. So, therefore, this one is 46. Yung segment na to, or sides ng triangle na to, ay 46. Another one, we have triangle XYZ at ang ating midline ay segment CD. Hahanapin natin ang segment CD. And given is yung XZ na 16. Para makuha yon, gawa tayo ulit ng ating formula basa sa midline theorem. So CD or yung ating midline is equal to 1 half of XZ. Substitute natin. 1 half of 16, that is 8. Di ba madali lang? Yun lang ang tatandaan ninyo para masolve ninyo yung mga problems regarding sa measurement ng ating triangle. And another example, CG is equal to 22, what is segment GI? So ito yung ating segment CG at ang measurement niya daw ay 22. Ang hinahanap natin is yung segment GI. So para natin makukuha itong segment GI? So remember, this point, or yung point I is the midpoint. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin midpoint, hinahati niya into two equal parts itong side na to or yung segment na to. So therefore, we can say that segment GI is one half of our segment CG. So kalahati ng segment CG yung sukat nitong ating segment GI. So substitute natin, one half of 22 so, 22 divided by 2, or kalahati nga ng 22, that is 11. So, therefore, this segment, or segment GI, is equal to 11. What if kung may ganito naman tayong example, yung may mga X, paano naman natin siya isusol? Segment AI is equal to 3X minus 2. So, itong segment na to, 3X minus 2, yung ating midline. While the other side of our triangle, which is MC, the measurement is 9x minus 13. Ang question, what is the value of x and what is the measurement of AI and MC? Para naman natin ito isusol. Again, kailangan muna natin makuha yung x para makuha yung exact measurement nila. At para makuha ang x, gamitin pa rin natin yung formula ng midline. So, ang midline natin is segment AI. Therefore, we can say segment AI is equal to one half of segment MC. So substitute lang natin sa formula base sa mga given values nila. So segment AI is 3x minus 2 is equal to one half times our MC which is 9x minus 13. So pinalitan lang natin. Then solve natin. We will multiply both sides to 2 para makancel na yung 1 half at masolve natin ang x. Ang mangyayari dyan, we have 2 times 3x is 6x, then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. is equal to, so makakancel na yung 1 half, maiiwan na lang yung 9x minus 13. Next, we need to get the value of x, that's why we will move 6x to the other side, magiging negative siya. So, 9x minus 16. While on the other hand, on the other side, negative 13 will be moved on the other side, kaya magiging positive 13. Then, minus 4. So, 13 minus 4 is 9, and 9x minus 6x is 3x. Divide natin both of them to 3 to get the value of x. So, 9 divided by 3, the value of x is 3. So, we already have an answer about the value of x. So the value of x is 3. The next question now is the measurement of segment AI and segment MC. To get that, we will just substitute the value of x to the given measurement of segment AI. Palitan lang natin yung x ng 3. So 3 times 3 minus 2. So 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2. The answer is 7. Segment AI is equal to 7. Ano kaya naman sa palagi nyo ang sukat ng segment MC? 
Tandaan na ang sukat nito ay doble ng sukat nitong ating midline. So, kahit hindi na tayo mag-compute, alam na natin ang magiging sukat ng ating segment MC. So, doble nitong midline natin na 7. So, kung 7 to, ay di 14 to. Pero, try pa rin natin gamitin itong 9x minus 13. Palitan natin yung x ng 3. Tignan natin kung makukuha din natin yung 14. So, 9x minus 13, palitan natin yung x ng 3. 9 times 3 is 27 minus 13. The answer is 14. O, di ba? Nakita ninyo? Tama yung answer natin kanina na 14. Kasi kung ito ay 14, itong midline natin ay 7. Kalahati nito, yun ang sukat ng ating midline. Or, yung doble nito, yun yung sukat ng ating segment MC. Alright, so nakita ninyo, na apply natin at nagamit natin yung midline theorem sa pagsusolve ng mga unknown values ng ating triangle. Remember, the midline is parallel to the third side and it is half as long. So, tandaan nyo lang yung formula natin para sa midline. So, that's it. Thank you so much. So, stop na muna tayo dito. Itutuloy ko na lang sa susunod ko video yung topic naman tungkol sa trapezoid. So, I hope na makita ko kayo ulit doon or makasama ko kayo ulit doon para mas lalo nating maintindihan yung iba't ibang mga theorems related dito sa ating topic regarding quadrilaterals. So, don't forget na i-click yung like button dyan. Tapos, pati yung subscribe na rin para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos ni Teacher Abby. Huwag din kalimutang i-share sa mga kaklase mong kailangan ng tulong sa mathematics. See you again and goodbye!